The reason I'm calling today is to express my disappointment that you have invited this highly sophisticated crackpot and given him a national forum to express his pseudo-religious uh, predictions that have no basis in objective reality. If you go back 500 years, not much happened in a century. Now a lot happens in six months. Technology feeds on itself and it gets faster and faster. It's going to continue in about 40 years. It's going to be moving so fast. The pace of change is going to be so astonishingly quick that you won't be able to follow it unless you enhance your own intelligence by merging with the intelligent technology we're creating. This guy is freaky. He says computers will have consciousness in just 25 years. If you get to the 2030s, you're not going to be able to tell a clear difference between human and machine intelligence. The big questions of life is, who are we? What are we going to become? What's the future like? And he's got one of the most incredible track records in history for his ability to predict with pretty darn good accuracy. He's an award-winning scientist and engineer, a millionaire several times over because of his inventions. These inventions may end up causing the worst war that humanity's ever had. Corporations and governments and societies will be created and destroyed on the back of the technology that this book describes. The world is flattening, the world that is globalizing. Inventor Ray Kurzweil thinks that one day humans may be able to live forever. I want to live as long as I can. I don't want to die. If following Ray's regimen would put that day off, I would be very willing to do that. I knew there was a reason I was keeping all this stuff, and he kept all this stuff. Uh, I do plan to bring back my father. God is who he is, and our challenge should be to know him, not try to create him. I'm afraid of you. Uh, it's going to scare a lot of people. The world is changing far too fast. Nothing like this has ever happened to homo sapiens before. These ideas are going to ultimately change the world. We didn't stay on the ground, we didn't stay on the planet, and we didn't stay with the limitations of our biology. I think Ray is performing the service of a prophet. That's wrong. He has used the, the gift that he was given for the betterment of humankind. That's what I know. It will be the universe waking up.